Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, I wasn't expecting to put out a video this quick, uh, but because of all the response and the views that I got on my first comm, uh, I decided to go ahead and, and put another one out, and I'll go over that in a minute. But first I want to touch bases on, uh, on this gameplay. This is on Nuketown, uh, obviously. Everybody's favorite map. Uh, <laughs> everybody loves it so much that uh, during double XP weekend, they have uh, Nuketown 24-7, but I guess if you're prestigious and, and you want that XP, Nuketown is the place to be. But uh, personally, I, I, don't, uh, I don't care much about Nuketown. Um, basically, I'm putting this video up because this is probably one of the better scores that I've, I've gotten on uh, Black Ops. And um, yeah, go figure, on a map that I don't even really like. But uh, yeah, I'm running with a pretty stacked team, um, and they they cover this map pretty well from the left side, uh, you know, from Jeep, from B Dom, uh, the the middle of the map. We just keep these guys back in their spawn, and uh, I guess that's why I was able to do so well. I guess you can call it a little bit of kill whoring, uh, because basically you'll see I just float right in front of the house, back and forth from left to right, and pick off uh, people as I do so, uh, and. The outcome is I get a couple blackbirds, uh, some helicopters, uh, dogs, and uh, yeah, we, we, uh, we tear these people a new asshole. Yeah, so what do you guys think about the new maps? Uh, I got a chance to play those yesterday, and uh, from what I see, I, I really like the maps. Uh, I just don't like all the ghosts hiding in corners, because uh, most of the maps are big. Um, you have to run from one side of the, uh, the map to the other, and you spend quite a bit of time doing that. I'm gonna uh, try using a tactical insertion um, today while I while I game. But uh, yeah, I really like the way the maps are laid out. Uh, real, uh, a lot of lines of sight, um, a lot of places to duck in and out of, windows to look out of, and uh, yeah, pretty much hold uh, hold things down if you're positioned correctly. And uh, man, I tried to get that guy through through that wood there, and no, uh, just wasn't having it. But I do get the guy back in a second. Um, I, made my, I make my way back to the front of this house, cook her grenade, and boom, buzz kill. Let him have it. But uh, Hangar 18, Drive In, Hazard, Silo. Now, Silo, um, <laughs> I, I think, uh, personally, I think the map is too big. And we were having a lot of problems with it yesterday. Uh, people were actually getting pretty pissed off at uh, at the size of the map and uh, the stupid little tactics that people have with their ghosts hiding in corners or uh, you know you make it from one side of the map to the next and somebody takes you up with the spads so yeah that, that map right there I'm, I'm not looking forward to that one but everything else is uh, is is real good um, here I get my blackbird blackbird and I'm trying to work to my dogs here picking people off little by little nobody there it's like peekaboo and I hear we're losing B, but uh, I'm one away from dogs, and I know I've got people back there to take care of it. And boom! That guy stands in the doorway like an idiot and, uh, and secures my doggies. And you know, uh, you know what Koreans do to dogs. But uh, here we go with that joke again. But no, uh, hey, um, yeah, the zombies, the zombie map. Uh, I really like it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of new stuff that they implemented into the zombies map. Uh, they get this damn screaming zombie, which uh, screams so loud you can see the sound waves. Uh, and uh, another one, a napalm zombie, which is, um, I, I found that you actually have to make him blow up. What he does is he blows up and uh, drops napalm around you. Um, I mean, if you, if you get close to him and then back up, uh, he'll drop his napalm and, and die. But uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun on the, the zombies map, and uh, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time uh, playing that map, hopefully with uh, Tommy Too Cold and Warrior, because those two guys are beasts. Um, here we're losing C. So right here I come back and I take these two guys out. I'm not sure if there's anybody else here, so I kind of make a rounds, look around, and, and everything's safe. So I make my way back to the middle of the map, trying to make my way to that front door and hold it down again. 
Um, but yeah, tonight, uh, tonight I'm looking forward to uh, Fight Club. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know what Fight Club is, it's something that Rondre 3000 has set up. Uh, he's been doing this ever since Modern Warfare 2. Boom! Defense and a buzz kill, double kill, secure and B. Uh, but anyways, yeah, Rondre, he, he's been doing this since Modern Warfare 2 days uh, on the PlayStation 3. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, it's a mixed bag of game types, loadouts, he has all this stuff ready and set. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, coverage on that. So look for a video sometime Friday or Saturday. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it's it's fun times, fun times. But um, yeah, basically, you know, I wanted to make this uh, this video, and uh, I, I wanted to say thanks to everybody that has stopped by my channel, uh, made comments, and subbed. Uh, really, I I didn't expect I didn't expect more than 60 views, you know, for my first video. Uh, and right now, as it stands, I have 272 views. Uh, as far as subs go, I started off with 12. And from what my channel says, I have 41. <laughs> I'm kind of beside myself. And I appreciate all the help and support that I've got from, uh, from my YouTube partners, uh, the viewers, you know, and, and it really does mean a lot to me. Especially being my first video, I'm trying to break 300, and hopefully uh, this video doesn't slow the pace down. So I mean, if you haven't checked out my first video, go ahead and check it out. Uh, I'm trying to break 300, and um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, hopefully, I can bring uh, bring an entertaining channel. Uh, maybe make some different ideas, have different ideas, and. And, uh, you know, average gameplay because I'm not the Sandy Ravage. Uh, try to keep you guys entertained. Um, and if you would like to, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter account is the same uh, as my gamer tag or this YouTube channel. It's K Korean Killer K. And uh, yeah, if you want, uh, go ahead and follow me there. Uh, I'll start posting little tweets here and there. And I'm saying tweets as, as manly as I can, but uh, yeah. <clears throat> so this uh, this video is almost done. This gameplay is almost done. I pick up this Paz 12, and uh, I realize that I'm not going to get too far with that. So I pick up somebody else's gun. I must have picked up about five or six different guns during this game. Um, I just kept running out of ammo, and these idiots just kept coming to the front door, giving me kill after kill after kill. I even get this. Uh, here's my next Blackbird. We call that in real quick. Um, I get taken out here. Don't get my dogs. But I get this, uh, like a 360. I, I don't know if it's a no scope or what. I have the FAMAS. Um, I found it kind of funny because I do this 360 and uh, turn around to get the kill. And I kind of got blown, <laughs> blown to shit right there. Uh, looks like I may have walked right into a new tube. These guys started pulling out tubes and. And all that. Whoa, three piece. Yeah, but here I go, spamming the back with uh, with stuns, trying to stop the people from coming. And yeah, this is uh, this is about it. If you want to try to hold down uh, one side of the map, Nuketown, try this. Get a couple people to hold the left, hold the right, and uh, just watch B flag. Jump back and forth from garage, front door to chimney, and uh, <laughs> keep them in their spawn, man. Hey, thanks again, and um, yeah, I'm out.